Professor Farrow over at Farrow Academy. I'm gonna show you guys uh, a collar choke, but a good way to break the posture from inside the closed guard. Um, so I'm gonna start with Marissa, my closed guard. Now, especially when you're in a tournament with people that have a lot of uh, adrenaline, or if you're on the streets, people are gonna have a good posture, okay? They're just gonna, they're gonna push up. I have to break their posture down. I can't sit here like this, okay? First thing I want to try to do is I want to try to at least get as deep in the collar as I can, okay? At least, at least here. I can even use two hands for right now. Now, what I like to do to break her posture down even more, my left hand, I kind of make a cup. I scoop the elbow. I pull out, and now I pull her down. And you can even get a wrist lock from here if they're not paying attention. Now, as I keep her posture down, I bring my left leg on top and grab the lapel as well as I get deeper with my arm. Okay, so now watch what I do with my, my hand here. You see how I'm not curling it down yet? She doesn't feel pressure here. When I start doing this and start curling, I'm driving my wrist into her artery. That's gonna be doing the choke. This is a strong grip, okay? So with that being said, my left hand's gonna be on top just to keep her posture down so I'm not giving away a choke, so I'm not going in front, okay? She's, she should be able to know I'm gonna try to choke like this, okay? So once I'm here, all I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to, you can put your foot on the hip, the pivot. I come to the side. Now, if I have to let go real quick, just to readjust, it's fine. I'm just going to readjust. Now I square back up and all I do is I'm going to turn, I'm going to turn my uh, wrist and I'm going to bring my elbows in. I'm going to do a sit up and try to like basically head butter in a way. So I bring her down and you get the choke. So make sure you square up, break her posture down, and you do a sit-up. My left arm isn't doing much. I don't, I'm not doing this. I'm not cranking up with my elbows. I see a lot of new people do this with their elbows. This is wrong. Okay, I don't have to do anything with this, this left arm. I just got to keep it right attached to the artery. Okay, so let's do that again. So especially, say you pull guard. I try to get deep in the collar, but look, I can't do anything. I need to break her posture down. I'll switch, go behind the elbow, pull it out, and I'll bring my legs up, pull her down. Now there's uba plata options, all that stuff, okay? But right now we're going to the choke. Now watch, I can just get even deeper, okay? Left hand, I'm just going to grab, keep the posture down, foot on the hip, pivot, collapse, square up, and get the choke, all right? Um, We'll do one more here, okay? So it's all about the setup with, with this stuff, but I, I, I like showing this because of breaking posture down in closed guard, okay? So we're here, exactly. I'm not gonna just try to muscle her down like this, okay? She's probably gonna win this battle. My legs are gonna get tired because I'm squeezing low. I, I, I need a higher guard, but she's not letting me get one. Left hand, elbow, pull it out. Now I could bring my knees down. Deeper with the choke, come around, switch for the choke. Okay, so that's one of my one of uh, my favorite ways to break people down is always pulling out that elbow, and then you could work inside for the choke. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe on my YouTube, and we'll be back next week for some more videos. Oh.